guys and welcome to today's video. Today I am showing you how to accomplish this look on my face. I hope you guys like it. Um, I decided to give myself the challenge of using only one brand. So everything I'm using in this tutorial is CoverGirl and I didn't have eyeliner so you can see how I do that. And basically it's just a fun little tutorial um, challenging myself to only stick to one brand which was a little bit harder than I thought. But continue watching and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so first things first I'm going to use is the CoverGirl Olay Face Lift Effect Firming Makeup. And this is in the color Fair. And this is a brand new one, so I haven't used it yet. Let's open this, shall we? Oh my goodness, product everywhere. And I'm actually just going to take the stuff right from the top and dab it on my face before I throw that away. Cool. Don't we look snazzy? And we are on our way. Blending. This is way too much foundation, but that's okay. It's a nice bump. Blah. Next, I'm going in with the CoverGirl D Puffer. This is the eye concealer, and it has a cooling effect on it, which is awesome. And you just take this in a triangle, just like that, and this is in the color light medium. Ta-da! Next I am going to go in with some eyeshadow. And I unfortunately do not own CoverGirl eyeliner, so we're going to do what we can with this. <laughs> Could be interesting, you guys. Could be interesting. So I'm going to take this brush here and go in with this palette. This is the CoverGirl's True Naked. I'm going in with the white color on the very end, just as basically base so when we put the other eyeshadow over it will stick a little easier so it's kind of like our own little primer. I'm also going to put this in the corner right down here just to brighten up the eyes a little bit. Then I'm going to take the color, I wish these were actually like labeled what colors they were, but I'm going to go in with this light pink. This is the third one over, if anybody has this palette. And it's a really pretty like light rosy pink, so we're just going to dab that on. And I'm going to take the brown down here. Just smudge that into the corners and the crease right up here. And I'm going to take this little teeny tiny brush and go in with the black on the end. And we're going to attempt to line the eyes with this. Not bad, actually. I don't usually use eyeshadow as an eyeliner, but it's working. I'm just going to mix that black and brown and bring it right down here just to smudge it out on the lower lash, about midway. That looks pretty good. And then I'm just going to go over the top of the shadow with that pink again. And 
blend everything all nice and together. So just kind of buff it from the inner corners all the way to the outer corners. Next, I am going to go in with this color right here in the center, which is this lighter brown, and I'm just going to kind of dab this into my eyebrows. So there we have that. And next I am going to go in with my CoverGirl Super Sizer. We're going to add in some nice lashes. I'm not the biggest fan of the Super Sizer. A lot of people really, really like this one. And it's okay, but I actually prefer my Revlon one, if I'm being honest. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to use the CoverGirl. And the only reason I don't like the CoverGirl one is because it makes my lashes stick together a lot, so I think it's the type of product itself. Now I'm going in with my CoverGirl Jumbo Lip Gloss Perfection. This is in the color 2291, and I don't see a name for it, but it's this light pink. And I'm just kind of using this as a little bit of a lip liner. So the lip color of choice is Caramel Kiss 240. And there we have it. This is my finished look for all CoverGirl makeup. So we have the eyeshadows. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!